Well, in her first interview now on television about this, we're joined by the lifelong Sheffield United fan, Charlie Webster, the television presenter for Sky Sports and patron of the club. Now, she said she will quit her role with the club if they re-sign Chet Evans, the convicted rapist. Now, you saw his message today. What did you make of it? I think it doesn't tell us anything different than what he's already said. I think there's a couple of key points. Is that he said he's learnt his lesson. Of what? Because he denies rape. So I'm intrigued what his lesson is. And also the fact that he highlights everything that we're talking about, how he was in a very privileged position and a very rare position playing football. And what we have to look at, at the moment, as I sit here, he is a convicted rapist and he has the opportunity, as he knows, to influence our next generation. He has the opportunity to influence thousands and thousands of young men that are, are at the age where they are deciding their attitudes towards women in a sexual nature. He doesn't understand what consent is and what message are we sending about sexual consent to the next generation. I mean, there, there have been so many gaffes about this, people referring to it as sex instead of rape, um, you know, referring to the victim's state at the time. What do you think it all tells us about our attitude towards rape? That we have a problem in society and I'm working with the Ministry of Justice on the victims panel to try and change our attitude towards rape because until we do, we're going to have problems like this. It's really interesting because maybe rape's been desensitised. We say rape and maybe we're getting used to the word rape. Let's remind ourselves what rape is. Rape is a horrendous, barbaric act and in the dictionary, it is a sexual penetration against a human being without consent. And if we all sit here and think, actually, for a moment, what rape is, then maybe we wouldn't be asking these questions. And there are also men that get raped too. And men need to come forward as well, because this is actually an injustice to men, because it's saying that men aren't clever enough to know when a woman is too drunk to have sex. It's very, very bad on men. And all the men I know, know exactly what consent is. And do you think there's a, an even greater responsibility on football because it is such a macho, male-dominated game? Um, I think there are still sexist attitudes in football that do underpin abuse and violence against women in, in those type of natures. I am very disappointed that football hasn't come forward and taken a stance against this and hasn't looked into their code of conduct. Football is no different and isn't higher than any other job. We all have the same rules and we all have the same justice system. But footballers and girls and nightclubs um, and bad behaviour, it all kind of goes together, doesn't it? And that, that's the real problem. It, it shouldn't go together. Ted Evans needs to stand up and apologise to the victim. Why, why is being drunk and football go together? It doesn't matter if you're drunk. So if I'm drunk, I go out of the studio and I have a few drinks. Does that mean that I'm going to be raped and it's OK? I've, I've got to ask you about what, one other thing. I mean, you tweeted not long ago about seeing Mike Tyson, um, the boxer, who was convicted of rape himself. And you talked about wanting a selfie with him. I mean, how is that consistent with your position on Ched Evans? I'm not proud of that tweet. I, I really am not. And that's my regret, <laughs> sending that tweet, because... Um, I'm extremely passionate about this issue. I've spoken about my own experience in it. I ran 250 miles to try and highlight this issue. I tried to get football involved and behind me to talk about violence against women. But what, what it does maybe bring out is the fact that Mike Tyson has become a hero, has become a role model in our society. He's in Hollywood films. The, where I bumped into him was a bizarre set of circumstances. The tweet I am not proud of and I'm not a supporter, let me get this clear. He was actually supporting the mayor in a political stance. Maybe we should learn not to put these people as role models and heroes and learn that lesson for our next generation. Charlie Webster, thanks very much indeed. Thank you. John.